Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Three Mountains. Playing as Ryukyu, we are fighting the Ottomans and Delhi. I did forget to send these troops up here to deal with the Swedes, so we should probably go to Gotland and fix that ASAP. Uh, so, something I realized, and I probably should have thought of this sooner, and I, I did see it in the comments section, but it slipped my mind for a little bit. Um, we do not want to return core. oh no. We do not want to return cores when we end our wars. Um, originally my strategy had been pretty straightforward, release a bunch of little nations because returning cores is cheaper in terms of war score cost, oftentimes, than ceding the province to me directly. Also, it saves me a lot of clicking. So I figured I could take larger swaths of land. What I forgot is that returning cores costs diplo power. Guess what I need? Lots of diplo power so that I can get up to the flexible negotiation. Which does mean it is to my advantage. Not to end wars using the return core mechanic, uh, kind of staggering them so I can keep going to war without being overextended. It's better to end everything in one big wave, take everything for myself, and then, yes, spend 10 minutes handing everything off. It's gonna be irritating, but I think it has to be done. Uh, let's go and work on this fort over here, I guess. There is a level 8 fort over here that I want to siege down. Um, yeah, I, I think I, as much as I want to end wars where I can, like Transoxiana, and just feed things off, it is better to do it all in one big wave, and that way we can get a whole load of extra land. Uh, we're going to send you... I don't know where he's going to retreat. These guys are on their way to go kill these little stacks of Ottomans, and that's fine. We should send you guys down over here as well to assist. I don't know what to do with you. Um, you don't have any other forts over there I need to worry about. This guy might be returning all the way to Corfu. He also might be going anywhere down here. Well, I don't think we need the general here, regardless. Honestly, I think we can go ahead and start sending some troops up toward Russia. With the knowledge that soon-ish we're going to be dealing with them. Because I don't really think the Ottomans are going to be that much of a problem. I mean, how long do you think it's going to be before they have to start deleting troops? Because we've sieged so much of their stuff down that they can't actually afford to maintain their armies. I don't feel like it's going to be that long. I feel like they're getting kind of close to that point. They have to be. If we play our cards correctly, they'll probably end up being bankrupt. In fact, the number one concern I probably have about fighting the Ottomans right now is um, that they'll have a bunch of rebels because they're going to have such terrible war exhaustion and those rebels are going to cause problems for me. Hey, cool. We got Lahore. Perfect. Go to Ro. Let's go ahead and siege down that level 8 fort. Let's get a general with some siege value for you. It's not a lot, but it'll have to do. I would really love to get started on this fort down here since it is also level 8. But he has enough troops over here that without reinforcements from the uh, Vassal Swarm, I don't see that going well. Natives, truce with Castile ended, you know? It's true, we could go kill Castile. Hello? Hey, is that an Ottoman fort? That is an Ottoman fort over here, level 2, okay. Uh, well, then yeah, we should definitely kill them. Georgian Separatists, they don't bother me at all. Californian Separatists bother me a whole lot, though. Get out of here. There's also some Tsotsil separatists that need to be dealt with. And particularists, of course. Why not? Why wouldn't there be particularists? All right. I think I'll be able to take a full 100% peace deal with the Ottomans and with Delhi by the time we are done. Okay, so he actually... Oh, he's retreating right here. Perfect. Let's go stack wipe him. It's exactly what I wanted to say. Good. Bye. It's not a stack wipe? Oh, come on! Wish I had a general. Kalahandian Separatists. Are you going to Corfu now? Nope, he's going right here. But he has blocked me off, so I do need to siege down Athens in order to get across the strait. Well played, sir. I'd like to think that that was intentional on your end. Oh. He's trying to send some troops off on boats. Oh, this is how he's going to escape from Corfu. 
four transports at a time. <laughs> oh, I find this amusing. Okay, um, yeah, go for it, man. I'm just going to casually sit around. Sieging down everything I can get my little hands on. We got the Siege of Delhi back. That was good. Let's go down there. Not sure. Actually, it's probably a bad idea. I'm not sure we're going to have enough reinforcements near here. He's got too many troops sitting around. I definitely want to knock Transoxiana out of this war, but we can't. Not at the moment. Good news is we actually have vassals sieging down all of Transoxiana's forts, which means they're not going to last that much longer. So that is good. Sieging down Alexandria. We'll get that back soon enough. Wait. Did you deposit more troops in Corfu? No. No. Surely he didn't drop off troops. Surely he picked some up, right? I must be misremembering. I thought that was like 138 there. But I have to be misremembering that. There's no way he would do that, right? Hey, we actually got a siege down. That was pretty good. Okay. So we got which one? Ah, this one. Okay. So yeah, now I feel better about you pushing down toward that level 8 fort. It is in hills, which means we will not get defensive terrain bonuses. So we got to be careful, but I got some reinforcements nearby. I would be fine with you guys stacking on me if you wanted to. No? Okay. He is trying to siege down up here in Iraq, and I don't like that. There's Alexandria done. So he's got troops over here at Tatooine. We can intercept that and beat him, I'm pretty confident. There are still rebels up in this area that could fire and probably will fire. That's only a level 2 fort? Unacceptable. Build it up to at least level 6. I can't. It is still being cored. Oh, I didn't even finish coring all of my uh, my new French land. Ah! Guess who tried to cross? Let's go save him. Yep. He blocked me off on the straight. Figures. Get him. Got him. I'm not letting you out. I am not letting you leave. You are staying right where you are. Kapleesh? Are you going south? He is going south. I think he's going right over here to die. Okay, he's trickling them in, bit by little bit. Nope, he's going over to these islands. Okay, well, we're going to block him off, and he's going to get trapped on two sides now. Hooray! The Ottomans are woefully stuck forever. Spend some of those extra admin points. Nothing I can do about them. Oh, God. Hello, peasants. That's a lot of peasants. They siege down the capital of Iraq. I don't appreciate that at all. I want to get this fort. In Jerba, or whatever it's called. I don't know. All right. Well, the carpet sieging seems to be going pretty well. His war exhaustion is through the roof at this point. There's really not much he can do. Looks like we were able to intercept the troops that were trying to flee from Tikrit. I'm going to go ahead and blow open the walls here since it is a level 8 fort. So currently it says it's at a uh, minus 49% chance. That appears to have gone up to a minus 29% chance. Which is good. Um, okay, let's see. We still have Chagatai Khanate Separatists, but it looks like they're actually trying to kill them. Or at least my guys are trying to kill the Separatists on my behalf, which is great. It does not appear to be going very well, but they're trying. Delhi still has a lot of troops over here. Which amuses me. Uh, I would happily jump on these guys. Where are you going? Over here? Yeah, 17 stack all alone. I'd absolutely love to kill them. There goes the Siege of Derajat. Perfect. Okay. Carpet siege like crazy. That's the new rule. We're going to try to get so much in this war. It's going to be exhausting, you know. But we are going to try to get a lot out of him. 
All right. Uh, how much more carpet sieging do we want to do? All of it. Start pushing our way up toward uh, Russia. I'm going to go ahead and tell my guys I'd like them to just go ahead and be aggressive for a bit. Because you see these guys over here? You can take them if you have the guts. That's the idea, Milan. Go get them. Internal conflicts in France. Did I mention, by the way, that they're ruled by Napoleon Bonaparte? Because they are. Again, I've never had a um, revolutionary France game, but... I suspect it's a scripted event. Whoa! We just fought someone from Delhi. I guess we managed to catch them. Perfect. Can you get over here to deal with uh, Transoxiana? So that appears to be yes. We're closing in. No. You don't get to go anywhere. I'm going to kill you. All right. Transoxiana's army is going to die. Uh, whoa. Look at the vassal swarm go. I hear the, I hear the elephant screaming in agony and pain. Are you guys even going to win this fight? Because, I mean, despite the fact that you're throwing a ton of troops in here. No, surely you guys are going to win this. He's got a completely shattered front line. You should be fine. All right, there we go. An army career. Army tradition, make the Bushi like me. It could do that. It's really hard to get the, the merchants to like me, though, is the problem. But I also could get army uh, professionalism. I'll do it. Well done. You guys actually were able to shatter Delhi's army. French separatists. And I have an army already in position to automatically suppress the rebels, so that's going to happen without any extra effort on my part. They were able to uh, attack and shatter the Ottomans up over here, so that's done and over with. You guys just keep pushing, I guess. The Auto uh, Bohemians are doing great. Let's go kill some separatists. Uh, Tatooine being a level 9 fort is a problem. Blow it open. That is going to take a while. Unfortunate. Alright, so we got all of Transoxiana's fort. Fortage. Forts, forts, things. Done. I'm going to take this army to go and kill Delhi over here. And I don't know what to do with this army. So even though they're set to aggressive, once they can't find any targets to kill, I think they automatically go down to siege mode pretty hard. But they're also very inclined to abandon their sieges the moment they see something that moves. It's just like a dog that's like, Squirrel! Same concept. Uh, okay, here's a chance to test this. So there is a chance of disease outbreak. Blow open the fort. Still there. Still. Progress is progress. All right, we're able to kill all of them. Uh, hey, a fort. Get him. Let's see. I see 41,000 Ottomans over here that are probably going to push on Moravi and kill them. But hey, they were able to get down Dumyat. 94,000 troops sitting over here. Man, you are reinforcing pretty hard, aren't you? The Ottomans have 42,000 manpower left. They are landing one by one in Crete and dying beautiful. Simply beautiful. Let's see. I don't want to mess with Circassian Separatists, but I'm okay with messing with Peasants. Do not need to influence Palotsk anymore. Finish the colony. This one. And I have a colonist back, so let's go ahead and get to work on that. Okay, um, particularists have fired. Uh, this complicates things slightly. And by slightly, I mean like a lot. To your hood separatists, that's pretty good for me. All right, we're going to sit back and try to do nothing. Um, it may be that these Separatists end up being a problem. Not Separatists, Particularists. And my vassals will kill them all on their behalf, but I'd rather not waste the manpower. It's okay with me. If Particularists siege down a lot of stuff, the only thing I'm not okay with them taking, honestly, is Delhi. So I'm going to go over here and take them out. But that is one thing I will not accept. Russian Separatists. Oh, good. Well, I have an army nearby. So I say we go kill. 
Bohemia is killing peasants. How very classist of you. As long as we keep this ticking war score, we're going to be fine. Looks like we are going to go kill these guys over here. Nope, never mind. They are trying to run to the north. Waiting for them to get locked. Right like that. And go up here. Okay. So Delhi's army is going to get pretty well shattered. Bengali separatists. Ooh. It's starting to look a little hairy in Delhi right now. Doing pretty good over here. Should be able to get that fort without much issue. Uh, we were able to kill all of them. So that's 10,000 infantry dead for Delhi. 99% chance. You know what? It's amazing, but I think you might actually have had uh, an even worse round of luck than I have. Holy crud. Okay, this is a problem. I need to send these troops down over there. Oh, lordy. Okay. Um, how are we doing in terms of that power thing that I was talking about? So that'll be done as of October 1738. We have to last a just over one more year. But we should be able to get that in time for the Call for Peace. It really is just a matter of can we chase down and kill... Oop, hello. Can we chase down and kill... Everything in time. You go over there. Because we're about to get an automatic conversion. And I don't want to have religious re re regiments. Uh, Mechasar. Nope. Don't intend on giving up anything. My land, once it's mine, it stays mine. Thank you very much. Good lord, so many pop-ups. I know, I know, I know. It's all important news. I get it. There's the Siege of Lhasa. And Separatists die. Sorry, Catholic Zealots die. So we got that fort down, eh? So let's see if we can chase down these troops. We managed to siege down Alexandria again. Gross. Let's see. His troops are currently docked up, so he's not blocking off the strait, though I would say that there is a good chance he will end up doing so eventually. Uh, hello. You were able to transport all your troops over here, were you? Well, uh, joke's on you. Regard no, wait. You just have another strait crossing. Joke's on you regardless. You can't go anywhere. Don't think I don't notice, by the way, that you're training up some troops over here. I'm not going to let him go anywhere. What is Aragon doing over here? No idea. We got the level 8 fort! Alright, so now it really is just a matter of chasing down his troops and trying to kill them so that we have the freedom to full carpet siege. Just got to chase him down and get him, but that's why we have aggressive vassals. Capped out on power, once again. Spend some of that. Could take some land for myself. That'd be an easy way to end the war, but I'm not going to bother. Still stuck with a lot of his troops, unable to go anywhere. He's trying to train up reinforcements, but it's just not going to go very far. I say that with experience. Chernihiv separatists? As opposed to Chernigov? Seems funny. You guys go up there. Again, we're going to deal with uh, Russia when the time comes. Vagina Guard declares a war. Mm-hmm. Still need to be sacking my prestige to improve relations with them if I can. That would be the smart play. It's just, I'm so lazy I sometimes forget. Portugal has an end to internal conflicts. More Swedish separatists have fired. Well, let's assist with that. Imperialism against Kong. King Kong? Oh, Portugal lost some lands. So Hene exists independently. Kong exists independently. No easy way for me to get to them at the moment. But that's good to know. I'll be able to get to them later. You would think that I want to jump on them and kill them right now, but maybe not. It might be to my advantage to let them live, possibly ally somebody, and I might be able to use that uh, as an excuse to jump into a war later. Bremen and Aragon are fighting it out right now. Truce with Waleta up over here has ended as well. 
which we should probably deal with. Why? Okay, forget the straight crossing. Come over here and kill. The Ottomans are trying to get away, and I can't let them. That's right. Come to me. Come to me. Castile forced Hene to break their alliance with Kong. Castile apparently has decided to go imperialistic as well. They've learned, dear God. All right. He is about to get jumped on. That was, uh, well, instantaneous freaking death. No. Transoxiana, I don't care about you. You might think that I do. But I don't. Let me go ahead and start moving some other troops up toward Russia with the intention of killing them. By the time this war is done, we are going to be able to jump immediately into another war against Russia if we wanted to. Siege of Ro is done. That's another level 8 fort. Perfect. Let's go ahead and siege down whatever we can. I'm not paying attention, so he's able to sneak around me. I'm trying to catch his army, but I'm failing. Family first. Lose power. Cannot afford to lose diplo power, so that is a no. The diplo power is king, don't you know? Gujarati separatists. That's to my advantage. Let them live. Running low on that manpower. Been using up a lot, haven't we? It's true. Where is he going? Where are you going? Come here. Castile declares war on Kong. See, I told you. Lose legitimacy. That's fine. It's won the siege of Tatooine. Finally. Get up over here. Don't you dare block me. Milan's stopping you. Lubeck declares war on Hesse. And 42% chance to begin. Perfect. Serbian separatists. Croatian. Austrian. More Austrian. These Milanese are their problem, not mine, actually. Yeah, um, a lot of separatists actually could work to my advantage. I don't think there's much else to be done except for wait until October, though. We've definitely got everything we need for a 100% peace deal. No doubt about it. But getting to that point is going to be a pain. All right, looks like we should be able to catch you. You get there on the 14th, you leave on the 16th. That's excellent, so you're going to die. Perfect. Don't think we're going to get a stack wipe, but we should be able to do a fair bit of damage. He's retreating up to the north. Where is he going to go? Probably up here. Somewhere in this general area, if I had to guess. All right, we'll keep these troops in position to deal with Bengal. Uh, you actually can go kill these troops before he sieges down the fort. Wyo is done. All right, we've got Wyo. Let's go to Gogo. Let's go ahead and recall my colonist and send him over here. More rebels. I'll bet you, yep, Kilowin Separatists are getting ready to fire again, and they're usually pretty big. I have not been paying attention to my Separatists at all. Uh, again, this is kind of the stage of the game where things start to get a little on the sloppy side. Because I just sort of stopped paying attention to these things. Good, we got Jerba. Um, so that is potentially an issue. Like, obviously it is better for me to pay attention and be dealing with all these Rebels as they come up, but... I just, I just can't be bothered. I really can't. All right. I think Russia is going to be a pushover. More Gujarati separatists. Holy crud, there's a ton of them. Hey, how come you got to move only one province over to, like, an occupied area? I call that cheating. Come here. Dead. It's actually fine by me. That was actually more convenient, not less. Uh, you guys also head over toward Bengal. Um, you guys are going to head up toward Russia. Transoxiana is full occupied, so we're good to go there. Just a few more months. A few precious, precious months, and we will be able to get the flexible negotiation. Tariffs on sugar, no. I definitely want to end these wars quickly, though. Like, as soon as I'm able to. Because all these Separatists are working to my advantage, and I do not want my vassals going and killing them anymore. Oh, good. You managed to get this fort in Chakla. Dang it. Fine, I'll siege that back. Danish peasants. Uh, you got a lot of peasants. You're gonna get broken, aren't you? Let's go kill Delhi over there. 
Okay. Not a lot more to do. Extreme monsoons. Production improvements. Lose a lot of money. I don't care if we have 10 devastation. What's that going to do? Nothing. Not a dang thing. Are you deleting troops or transporting them around? I can't actually tell. A little difficult to say for sure. All right. You guys start heading up toward Russia. Before we get black flagged getting stuck in Trebizond, that is one thing we need to consider. As we finish up these wars, um, we do need to be mindful. What am I trying to say? We do need to be mindful that we could get black flagged and stuck far away. There goes the truce with Russia. Two months away. And there's the stack wipe there. Head back over to Athens. What just happened? Advancement of the Bushi. They gain influence. Fine by me. Choose of the Ottomans. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, Austria, no! They're gonna die. Catholic zealots are always more zealots. It never fails. I hate Separatists so much. It is arguably my least favorite part of the game. I get why they need to exist. I get why it's a thing. They just annoy me, especially when I have a really large empire and I have a ton of vassals who aren't necessarily making the best choices with their lives. Blah, 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 blah. We lost Mantua. That was level four forts, but I don't care. I think we're fine anyway. Come on, one more month. Whoop. We did catch them. We should be able to finish them off. Okay, that's a couple more forts that are going to various people. But again, is that necessarily a big deal? Time to start moving the troops out of here. Before we get completely stuck. October has hit. We can get the final idea. And we will do so. Flexible negotiation. Province work score cost reduction minus 20%. That should allow me to take an absolute ton of land. All right. Are we ready to finish this? I think so. Transoxiana. I'm going to go a little bit overextended, and by a little I mean a lot. But that's fine. Okay. Transoxiana is done. Now we wait for the Diplomat to come back. We can actually pull out an extra one, because I'm going to need two. So let's see how much I can actually get away from Delhi. An army career. Professionalism? For more manpower? I actually do need a manpower, so let's do that. All right. Uh, so the forts that I wanted. There's one right here, one up here, one up here, and one here. Those are the level 8 forts. I would say those are absolute minimums. Let's go ahead and grab all that. Up to row. We'll grab all these. Um, so how else do we want to split things up? I would like to feed off land here. I'm not paying any... I am paying Diplo power. Why? Because they are not the main war target? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, even though I co belligerize them. This is one of the reasons fighting separate wars is so much more appealing to me. So by doing this, we're going to spend all of our Diplo power, but I think it has to be done anyway. I'll live with it. Not thrilled, but I'll live with it. Because it's more important to me that we win these wars and take a lot of lands than to keep all my Diplo power. It just means I won't be able to finish off my Diplo idea groups for a bit. But oh well. Let's do this. We can join up everything a little bit easier. All right. That is all we're able to take out of Delhi. Uh, this does not, repeat, does not get them to break off their relationship with the Ottomans, and we probably should do that. I'd go so far as to say that that is a higher priority. Because I do want to be able to split these guys off and deal with them on my own terms later. 100% peace deal with Delhi. Done. 
There goes all my Diplo power. But the important thing is, we got the idea first. So we were ultimately able to take a pretty hefty chunk of land out of them. Now, we finish this video off with the Ottomans. And this will not cost me. I want to get rid of that fort. I want to give up the coastline. Push up here. And all that. We're going to split them up nice and good. This is border gore like hell. I debate whether this is actually even worth it. It's not. Is it? Wait. Well, I mean, no, no, no. This is not... This is unnecessary. It's fun to split them off and all, but this is an unnecessary turn of events. Uh, I would like to take that fort at least. Let's feed off a good chunk of grease. Um, we could release Hungary. But is that really the best use of my time? Where else do you have forts? A handful here and there. Did this belong to anyone else in particular? Nitra. I don't even know who that is. Maybe we just go ahead and fill in the borders a little bit. This apparently costs a lot. You can get Lhasa out of here. That's a fort. And Malta, so I never have to worry about that island. Okay. Well, <clears throat> it's a chunk. It's definitely a chunk. And that's going to have to be good enough. Done. All right. Well, <clears throat> that is fun. We are piercing our way through the Ottomans bit by little bit. Hopefully, as they start to break apart, we are going to find that the uh, Separatists work to our favor, kind of like the Ming Explosion did. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I have a lot of land to hand off to various vassals, so when you come back, the map will look a little different. Then we need to go and fight Russia. Boy, howdy, this is fun. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.